that day when I was down at Shipstones, um, I got, yeah, ended up waiting all day and watching and then by the end of the day the boys were, you know, they'd got all their waves and were so stoked and then they threw me the tow rope and I was like, all right, cool. And I think they were all having, you know, having a couple of beers watching me. Yeah. <laughs> and I ended up becoming like the afternoon entertainment, just like <laughs> eating crap <laughs> at like, you yeah, know, so 10 to 12 foot ship stands. How was so, the first wave? Was it, the tow wasn't great? Yeah, well, like no, the tow was good. I just, um, I went too high. I, I'd never, oh, yeah. I didn't really know like what I was, I was doing. I was trying to visualize what to do on the wave, but it's so hard to realize like, because the wave sucks up so much, it's so easy to go too high and then the wave sucks you over. So that's what I did. I looked like I, I thought I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in the perfect spot. Then I was like, no, I'm in the middle of the wave and you need to be at the bottom. So when it sucks you up, you, you know, I was up here and so I just went, whoop. Uh, <laughs> and came up laughing. Yeah, I actually, yeah, I got pretty, pretty smashed. I think everyone might have thought I was going to be in half when I came up, but um, I luckily wasn't. <laughs> You know, after I got this massive wipeout at Shipstones, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go start again and learn from the start and sort of just go back to, you know, the beginning of, you know, be the beginning of the journey for me and sort of work my way back up. And I remember, yeah, going down the coast to all these waves and kind of relearning how to surf these slabby waves. And it's so different to surfing normal waves because it just there's so much water pulling up that it's so easy to just get sucked over and yeah. you really have to like work out what you know what lines you're going to take on the wave and where to put like put your weight and stuff so it's yeah it's all it's a whole new world <laughs> have you done much toe surfing before no my first toe wave was that one that i did that big cartwheel on at shipstones Actually, that was the first time yeah. you ever towed you went yeah. to shipstones yeah to we can probably put that in the clip oh, yeah. <laughs> put a little overlay yeah yeah but i'll get the footage from steve and put an overlay in it um yeah. wow how um so shipstones is in tasmania and it's pretty gnarly uh, yeah is that where mark it's... matthews broke his back that or his leg maybe yes, or yes, no he broke like, his leg down at um somewhere down the south oh, coast right. away down it, there it's had lots of casualties yeah i think someone did break their back oh maybe um jug um oh, jug had yeah recently, yeah. Like, oh, yeah a lot of bro it's just it's yeah. so it, it's like it's huge and it's, dark, huge and cold. <laughs> it's so cold <laughs> <laughs> and you're up against this huge cliff face and the first time I saw it, like I didn't even, you had to walk two hours into it or it's like an hour boat ride to get to Shipstones. And the first time I got there, I finally, you know, finished the walk in and saw the wave and like my stomach just like Did you was go to so surf? sore. Did you go to check it out? No, I just went to check it out and I like took a board in case I was like, I'll paddle in case I paddled out, but I was not really planning on surfing. Yeah. I was kind of just... Just go my, and scope. Yeah, I just wanted to like get just see it and yeah. see, you know get amongst that feeling and you know and, and I think that's what I promised myself going into big wave surfing was that you know I'm in control I don't have to do it do whatever I don't want to I am going to make call the shots like it's, it's my body it's me doing you know surfing these waves so if I don't want to do it like I almost felt like that was more empower, empowering than you know, saying no than just going, but um. Other than having a film crew there as well. That's yeah, the well, pressure, at, right? at that time there was no real. The film crew was Steve was there to. Um, just support, yeah, yeah, well, he was just there to film Russell as well. Across. So I always went. <laughs> I always made sure that I was on you know on surf trips with other guys as yeah. well. So. So it, yeah, <laughs> so it wasn't just me, and yeah. and, and even Good if it strategy. was, yeah, even if it was just me, like I remember there was a couple of times I showed up to go surf hours and, and Steve and I had got up really early in the morning and I got over there and I just looked at it and was like, oh, I just, I'm not feeling it today. And like, that was something that I wanted to always hold on to is that if I didn't feel like it, I yeah. didn't have to. And even if, you know, it's hard for a production, you have a production team there as well. And like, I just had to not feel bad about letting them down. Yeah, trust because, intuition. Yeah, yeah, just trust my gut. And that was, yeah, that was something that I didn't really do that much when I was on tour. And I was like, I just want to do this the way that I, I want. And it was pretty special because, you know, Steve Steve has so many connections in, in the surfing world and hooked me up with so many of these awesome crew that helped me, you know, get some of the waves in my life. And then, you know, fast forward like a year later and like I was calling up the crew down at Shipstones and like getting the boat organised and was out there and I just felt like I was in control of it again. So it was just, it was really cool like to 
see how far I'd sort of come in, you know, a year and a half and yeah. actually really diving into it and yeah.